everyone, what's up? This is Lloyd here. How's everyone doing today? Just wanted to make this quick video. I'm talking about a lot of random stuff. Um, the workouts we've been doing have been the six day push pull leg routine and the 531 progression scheme. So, next week, starting Monday, will be week four deload. And that will basically just give time for your body to adapt and recover after a pretty hard week three of trying to get some one rep maxes, which some we did, others we couldn't do, namely deadlifts and squats and bench some, but uh, this will allow us to have a week to recover, do a deload week, and then we get back to it with week one and the reason I like this program is because every three weeks go really hard for three weeks and then the fourth week you do a recovery phase which lasts for about a week you're still working out really hard but your main t1 lifts are not as heavy as they would normally be they're about you know 30 to 40 percent lighter and that gives you time to recover a bit eat really well finish your workouts a bit quicker and gives you some strength back for when you start week one over again. And I got on some new vitamins lately. I got some L-arginine and L-citrulline along with my multivitamin, which doesn't have iron in it. The one I was taking, that was the Centrum for Men, had iron in it, but it was causing me to get really lightheaded a bit because of the iron. So I got a multivitamin I've used a lot that has no iron in it and it's from the Amazon brand Salimo and it works really well so I got a year supply of that and I got some fish oils and I got this natural testosterone booster which I think it's just a testosterone booster by name I don't really think it's gonna give you anything but it has Panax ginseng and some B vitamins and some B6 and B12 that's pretty much it so, and you know, some herbal root extract and stuff. It's just some random thing I bought on Amazon. I was like, oh, maybe I'll try it and see how it goes. The reviews were well, and a lot of people gave it a good review, but, you know, I know it's just marketing hype, so we'll see how it goes. Um, besides that, everything's been going good. Still exercising, working out, trying to stay uh, consistent with that, and been doing more cardio on my exercise bike, so that's been good. Uh, the weight's about 156 to 158 to 160, depends on the day, what I ate that day. So we're about, you know, 158 to 160, give or take. So that's been good. Um, it's hard trying to push past the numbers I'm at right now for exercising. I don't know if it's just because of a calorie thing or a central nervous thing, but like pushing past 215 pound bench press has been difficult for reps. Um, pushing past 280 pound deadlifts for reps has been difficult. And pushing past um, 150 pound overhead press and like a 215 pound squat for reps has been difficult. Maybe I can get one maybe two if I have a really great day and I had a lot of food to eat beforehand, but besides that, it's just been kind of hard pushing past those numbers. And I've kind of been stuck at that for like two months, three months, maybe two months now. Uh, don't really know how I'm supposed to get past that, but I guess it just takes time. So I'm still doing what I can with that. And besides that, workouts have been consistent. I haven't really missed any significant days or anything. Um, I guess the big thing is the calories. Maybe not enough calories is leading to not enough uh, surplus of energy when lifting really heavy weights. That's all I can think of really because um, I've been exercising enough, but my calories has been maybe 2,300, 2,400, and I know I need uh, probably 2,800 just to sustain growth. I have a fast metabolism in addition to exercising a lot so yeah this is just a, a vlog update um, 
guys want to know what's going on, uh, you can follow me on Instagram and stay tuned with, you know, my, my videos and everything that I do. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Peace out.